In this video, we're going to look at why the debug view in GA4 is not working for you. One of the great features of GA4 is the debug view. But if your traffic looks like this with absolutely nothing coming into that debug view, you may wonder how to get traffic in. Let's review three different ways that you can use to start sending traffic into the debug view. The first and easiest way is to use the Google Analytics Debugger Chrome extension, which you can find by going to the Chrome Web Store and clicking on Add to Chrome. Go to your website. In this example, we're going to be using a demo site that has a lot of information about coffee to make sure you don't fall asleep. Click on the GA Debugger to turn it on. And then let's go ahead and click through a bunch of pages to send information to GA4. Don't worry about the no debugger found message. We'll talk about that later. Let's jump over to the debug view. Now, finally, we see some traffic flowing into that view. We can see that there is stuff happening on the website. If you wanted to look at what pages have been looked at, for example, we can click on page view. And look at all the page titles. We can see that all of them are in debug mode, equal to true. So we are now getting data flowing into the debug view. And that is the easiest way to get the data flowing into the debug view by using GA Debugger and making sure it's on. The next way to get data into the debug view in GA4 is probably the one that you will use least. And that's within GTM in your GA4 configuration tag, you set the debug mode to true. Go ahead and publish that container. Now, anytime you use that GA4 configuration, either for a page view or within a custom event, the debug mode will be set to true. That's what we have set up on the site right now. Let's click through some pages and send traffic to GA4. So we should have some decent activity now in our debug view. And if we look at any of these, debug mode is set to one, which is true. It's not just a page view that uses the debug mode. Any GA4 event that is using the GA4 configuration will also have the debug mode on. Let's take a look at this event, which tracks a social media click. Here's our social media event. And you can see the debug mode is true. So every time this GA4 configuration gets called, either through a page view or any of the enhanced measurements in GA4, or through a GA4 custom event, which is using that GA4 configuration, then the debug mode is gonna be true, and the traffic is gonna show up here. Like I said at the beginning of this section, I think the debug mode is not something you'll use that often. It's so much easier just to use the GA debugger Chrome extension. The third way you'll start having traffic show up in the debug view in GA4 is through the preview mode in Google Tag Manager. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to click on preview, connect to my website, and click around on a bunch of pages on the site. We jump over to the debug view, and we'll see there's a lot of activity happening. The page view, the user engagements, scrolling, even that click on the social media icon in the footer. All this traffic in the debug view is coming because we are in preview mode in GTM. The last thing I wanna cover is why you sometimes see that error, no debugger found. If we turn on GA Debug, as you know, we will start getting traffic into the debug view in analytics, 
but we'll get this no debugger found message because it can't connect to the tag assistant. What this is talking about is the GTM preview connection. Let's turn off the GA debugger. Go to Tag Manager, preview it. And now you see that the debugger is connected in the Tag Assistant window, as it mentions down here. So when you see debugger connected, you're probably running it through the GTM preview mode. When you see that it's not found, you're probably running it through the GA debugger. So summing up, if you have no traffic coming into your debug view, you have three different approaches. One is to use the GA debugger and turn it on. The second is in Google Tag Manager to add that debug mode and then publish the container. And third, to put the GTM container into preview mode itself. I hope that was a useful run through of how to get the debug view to work in GA4. I'm Fred Pike, Managing Director at Northwoods, also the GA and GTM practice lead. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter and on LinkedIn, and check out our GA4 hub at our website for more information about GA4. Thanks.